In this video, we are going to talk about everything you need to know about Chardonnay. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. The Chardonnay grape variety is used in the production of some of the world's most popular and frequently consumed white wines. These wines might have a character that is oaky and full-bodied, or they can have a character that is dry, exquisite, and mineral in nature. The name Chardonnay is often used interchangeably with the phrase white wine among consumers. It doesn't matter whether you're drinking a buttery, full-bodied bottle of Chardonnay from Napa Valley, a white burgundy that gets better with age and increases in complexity, or any one of the hundreds of outstanding examples from across the globe. Chardonnay is adaptable enough to succeed in any environment. However, as a result of its popularity and widespread recognition, Chardonnay has become so common that it is easy to forget how exceptional it can be and, in many cases, how affordably it can be purchased. This is because Chardonnay has become so common because of its popularity and worldwide recognition. Check out the next section of our guide to Chardonnay wines. To have a better grasp of all that can be accomplished with the Chardonnay grape variety. What is Chardonnay wine? The Chardonnay kind of grape is one of the most widespread types of white grape that is cultivated in vineyards across the world. It has the nearly miraculous ability to express the character of the soil in which it was grown as well as the personality of the winemaker who made it. This ability allows it to communicate both the character of the soil and the personality of the winemaker. Because of this, Chardonnay has the capacity to be something of a chameleon covering the whole gamut from crisp and invigorating to velvety and generous, depending on how it is created. As a consequence of this, Chardonnay has the ability to be somewhat of a chameleon. Even more crucially, it is one of the key grape varieties used in the manufacture of champagne, making it a vital component in the whole process. It makes no difference where your tastes fall since there is undoubtedly a Chardonnay out there that will please them. Where does Chardonnay wine come from? Since the first Chardonnay vineyards were planted in the Burgundy region of France, nearly a millennium has passed. The vast majority of wine professionals believe that the world's greatest wines come from that region, specifically the Côte de Beaune, which is located in the southern section of the well-known Côte d'Or region. This is the mindset of the vast majority of people working in the wine industry. Chardonnay grapes are widely planted in Grand Cru vineyards such as Montrachet and Corton Charlemagne, and are highly valued for the high quality of the wine they produce. These grapes are used to make wines, many of which can continue to ripen and develop for decades after they are bottled. Chablis Chardonnay wines are made in a completely different way than Massault Chardonnay wines, with a focus on gritty minerality and exquisite acidity. This is due to the fact that Massault wines are known for having a silkier texture. The Chardonnays produced on the Côte Chalonnais and throughout the Mackinais in Burgundy South can provide exceptional value, which is uncommon in other Burgundy districts. One of the reasons the Côte Chalonnais is also known as the Chardonnay Coast is because of this. This is especially true for wines produced in Appalachian-designated areas that have been awarded the Grand Cru label. Chardonnay is widely regarded as one of the three primary grape varieties capable of being used in the production of champagne. The other two are Pinot Noir and Meunier. Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier are the other two grapes. The Chardonnay grape is widely known to be the only component used in the production of Blanc de Blanc champagne. Why should you drink Chardonnay wine? Unlike the majority of other wine grape types, Chardonnay is one of the few that may be fermented into a variety of styles. It has a notably brilliant quality owing to its high acidity, which is enhanced when grown in cooler circumstances or plucked earlier. When grown in a warmer environment than usual and aged for an extended period of time, Chardonnay often acquires a rich flavor that makes the mouth moist and the tongue quiver. Depending on the variety, it may be cool and refreshing in the summer, or warm and relaxing in the fall and winter, depending on when you drink it. It also works nicely as a complement to a wide variety of dishes. Chardonnays from Chablis, which have higher acidity levels than those from other regions, 
combine very well with fish and shellfish, fresh oysters, shrimp cooked in butter. And light whitefish are just a few examples. Richer Chardonnays may compete with heartier foods and pair particularly well with veal and a wide range of cheeses. Richer Chardonnays also go well with a variety of cheeses. It also pairs well with lemon, whether poured over pasta with garlic and olive oil or blended into an aioli and served alongside. Both dishes are wonderful. Because Chardonnay is such a flexible wine, it can be paired with everything, even mac and amp, cheese. It's no wonder that Chardonnay is often recognized as one of the most delightful white wines to drink on its own. Many buyers carefully consider whether Sauvignon Blanc or Chardonnay is preferred. Yet, choosing which wine to purchase is simple. While Chardonnay tends toward melon and autumn orchard fruit aromas and flavors. As well as tropical fruit, Sauvignon Blanc tends toward grapefruit and herb or bell pepper aromas and flavors. Chardonnay, on the other hand, leans toward the tropical fruit end of the spectrum. The aroma of tropical fruit can be detected at times. In addition, when compared to Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay has less acidity. Both have the potential to be amazing, the decision to pick. One or the other is totally dependent on the individual's current mental state. And, regardless of how much money you are willing to spend on a bottle of Chardonnay, you will be able to discover a fantastic variety of it, whether you are perusing the wine, list of a restaurant or the selection of bottles available in a supermarket. This applies regardless of where you purchase your wine. There are some spectacular Grand Cruz of Burgundy that cost over $1,000. But there are also numerous outstanding ones that cost less than $20. The price range for these wines is rather wide. What does Chardonnay taste like? Chardonnay has natural fruit aromas that are often associated with melons and autumn orchard fruits like as apples and pears. Chardonnay is a kind of white wine made from the Chardonnay vine. It often has a subtle brininess to it, as well as notes of chalk, when grown in soils that are higher in calcium than others. Chardonnays grown in warmer climes sometimes have a higher percentage of tropical fruit. With flavor notes of pineapple, papaya, mango, and guava common. Oak-aged Chardonnays often include flavors and aromas of cinnamon, clove, and vanilla. If the wine has gone through malolactic fermentation, it is likely to include butter flavors as well. Chardonnay embraces a broad spectrum of genres in the most favorable sense. 5 Great Chardonnay Wines There is a large variety of high-quality Chardonnay wine available on the market at the present time. These five producers, which are listed below in alphabetical order, are a good place to start investigating all that Chardonnay has to offer, and you may choose any one of them. Alain E.T. Adrian Gotherin Chablis Grand Cru Chablis features seven Grand Cru's, and the 14th generation Gotharin delivers excellent Vaudisser and Laclos expressions. Either one demonstrates how good Chablis Chardonnay is. Louis Latour Paoli Fuis. Louis Latour has been producing wine in Burgundy since 1797. And their inventory includes both Grand Cru and more affordable styles. This one falls into the latter category for around $30 with aromas of ripe fruit balanced by a hint of nuttiness. Perrier Jouet Blanc de Blanc Champagne Perrier Outstanding Jout Champagne is a constant on wine lists and in cellars across the world. And it is one of the definitive examples of the Blanc de Blanc style. Rambauer Chardonnay Rambauer is often mentioned by fans of rich, oaky, buttery Chardonnay as a classic example. Sonoma Catraire Chardonnay Chardonnays from Sonoma Catraire include Russian River Ranches, Les Pierres, and Sonoma Coast Bottlings. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.